your arguments would be totally destroyed. He's never said precipitous withdrawal. He said he immediately. Is, is it possible to actually complete a sentence? And then you've got to come back, and you're now rattled, you're shaken up. Let's save the bleeding heart for somebody else. It's time to change. And you don't know what the hell to say, but you've got to say something. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Dr. Kissinger, you have six minutes. Would Africa be better off if China didn't invest there? No, I'm not Would saying, Africa be better I'm off if China wasn't its biggest trading partner? I think that's the kind of hypocritical argument that if I were Chinese, I'd find quite annoying. I'm, I'm not... <laughs> you're obviously finding it annoying even though you're not Chinese. <laughs> in this, uh, so the United States can't pull itself out by running a trade surplus unless we can find another planet to sell to. We remain totally unlike Japan, the place where everyone in the world wants to come and the place where everyone in the world wants to put their money. We created colonialism, we created fascism, we created communism. Every bad thing was in Europe, and we make two world war. Nor are we in the House of Commons. Oh, so what? Big deal. <laughs> Neil, with a performance like okay. that, you'll get there, I promise you. <laughs> it is much more frightening to have a real gun barrel pointed directly at your face than watching it on CNN or reading about it in the Washington Post. The last time Iran attacked a neighbor was in 1859 to reclaim Afghan territories that were snatched away by Great Britain. Imagine, indeed, a world without religious faith. Not just no place of worship, no prayer, no scripture, but no men or women who, because of their faith, dedicating their lives to others. Once you assume a creation and a plan, it makes us objects in a cruel experiment, and over us to supervise this is installed a celestial dictatorship, a kind of divine North Korea. 